Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 12th episode of Love Hina. So, in the last episode, Naru got to experience a little bit of the idol life, and we had plenty of singing and sort of dancing, and it was a lot of fun. However, in the end, I think Naru realized that the idol life wasn't quite the life for her, and that she should probably stick with trying to get into Tokyo University along with Keitaro, and being the main love interest of his life, and just being a a member of the Hinata dorms, pretty much, is what we established in that episode. So, yeah, let's watch more of this. 3, 2, 1, play. Oh right, yeah, Matoko and Sue also got to get a bit of taste of the idol life. The idol life, which was nice as well. In fact, they probably preferred that. But they also quit in the end, yeah. <sighs> he also had Shinobu pull up an unconscious Keitaro's pants for him. That also happened. Yeah, those girls are lucky those towels just don't fall off as they attack him. You spin me right round, baby, right round. And Tama just shows up, as she does. And we're into it. The Toko. Well, that's nice of her. I assume the sister is who she's reading right now. <laughs> uh, well, uh, maybe not as much as you might have expected or hoped for. She's a little bit violent. Wedding, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and plan it doesn't taste good other days. Wow, she is so happy. <laughs> like Guitaro, for instance. Or Matoko. More like it. Yeah, Shinobu and Matoko were the idols last episode. I think I might have actually said Sue. Well, she tried to kill the bug. Yeah, that makes it okay. Yeah, you know, that. It's a little bit harsh. Done. Wait, oh my god. <laughs> Don't eat the turtle. No turtle soup today. Is she afraid of it? Is she really scared of turtles? The turtles are cute, though. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm glad that the one that was confused by that. Oh no. Not the time for this. Did Tama block the attack? Oh, <laughs> they actually did. Oh, Tama, that's a little bit bold. Y you heard her, Keitaro. Stick your hand in there and get the turtle. Well, you can't when Naro's busy abusing you, I guess. 
Good thing. Good thing Tom has a shell. That should protect her a little bit. <laughs> uh, get wrecked, Matoko. Somebody spying. Oh, is this one the mechanical Tama? Mechanical turtle's gonna come into play? Is that what that was? Tamago? Was that a was that an egg joke? I think a Tama's hiding in there. Sure. Tama's female as well, she has as much right to be in there as you. Open your eyes, Kitaro, before you miss it. There you go. You got to see it. Might be the last thing you ever see, so enjoy it. I know I would if your big fat head wasn't in the way. <sighs> I would have sympathy for you there, but you got to see something I didn't, so... Screw you. Oh, no clothes for her. I'm okay with that. Nope. Gotta walk around naked. Oh well, it's mostly girls there, so it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. Gotta wait for the reveal. Oh my. <laughs> oh god. That's a look for her. It... Yeah, it doesn't really suit you that well, but the novel will tell you if it's fun. Oh my, this is much better. I already, like, five times better than the last outfit. That's pretty good, too. Wow, don't be such a baby. Mixed feelings in this one, but overall I'd say positive. Huh, that's pretty good, too, actually. I quite like it. Oh, really? <laughs> I love this slight blush. Call her Haruka-chan. Would you prefer to say you looked ugly in it? Because I don't feel like there was a right answer to this. Oh, wow. Okay, Taro. You clearly been training off screen. <laughs> Uh, guess this just goes to show how weak you are. You'll be attacked by Tama. Why does Tama like her so much? <laughs> 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 wow. Blocked by a turtle that had no leverage at all. That's gotta be disheartening. Don't lose any turtles while I'm gone. But, sister, could you please turn on the lights? I can barely see you. Don't leave me. You can keep the lights on if you want. Just don't leave me. Well, I got to improve, because Kitaro and Tama both bested you. You probably should have seen that come in, because I did. <laughs> She gonna get a hit on because she looks so cute out in public. I... There we go. No sword, do you? <laughs> uh, no sword. You have to speak up if you want to properly reject them. Please protect me from these guys. A lot of attention. Well, yeah, she looks really good in that. <laughs> uh, especially looks cute with that blush and that side glance. <laughs> uh, it's a rough day. No clothes. Pretty short. <laughs> uh, I'm taller than you. I'm roughly six feet. Oh my god, Matoko's with a boy. <laughs> this should be good. This should be fun. I'm on a date with Keitaro. <laughs> That's totally what's happening right now. 
<laughs> She's finally becoming more ladylike, like her sister wanted. <laughs> uh, and the state is getting worse for her. <sighs> Doesn't I stop, Matoko? Please turn my clothes off right here and make love to me. <laughs> I would. Kitana doesn't really have the balls for that. Since he's sort of kind of in a thing with Naru. Yeah, Naru knows what's up. <laughs> but there's definitely jealousy there. Ah. All together now. That's... an outfit. <laughs> See, trade clothes with him? Wow. That's... That's horrible. Well, you're a harem protagonist in an old school anime, so of course you're a punchy bag. And despite the fact that you went above and beyond for her, you know, he gets abused anyway. As if he did something wrong. Again, the life of a harem protagonist in an old school harem anime. Well, that's not good. Yeah, those things that are flying away right now. What is Tama doing with them? <laughs> wow, I never had a dog, so I wouldn't know. Though I do have a cat that brings me stuff, like random toys that aren't mine on my floor in my room. Imagine the two of them join forces to attack you. Wouldn't stand a chance. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that's good. Especially Matoko. Yeah, Tama clearly has a crush on Matoko. <laughs> I think I get behind that ship. But I prefer Matoko and Shinobu. <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh, in other words, yes. Surprisingly. I suppose he does. A dragon radar. But I do like the fact that, you know... Tama being a girl and liking Matoko is considered weird, but the fact that they're both different species, no, that's normal. I just, I just like find it funny what she decided to emphasize on. I still think Shinobu's voice actress is probably my favorite in this anime. I just, I love how she delivers her lines. And she never usually looks cute as she does so. Yeah, just pull it right on off. Feel free. Kitara, you remember what happened last time you said that? <laughs> I think you missed. He's really lost it. You think I will touch your dirty hand? I know what you use it for. I touch your hand, my hand will be all white and sticky and slightly sweaty. Maybe a little bit of Cheeto dust on it. Oh no, another bug. Matoko, take care of it. Oh wow. He went straight for Matoko. That's not gonna that's gonna run around the wrong way. Well, she has no chi right now, because she's, you know, not in a good mental state. Tadaima! 
not quite the same as a doghouse, but clearly been collecting stuff. Oh. It is a Mechatama. I don't know, but you want to dodge. This is my final form, my true form. Behold, I am your master. Of course. So this did turn out to be the episode where Mechatama makes its appearance. I don't think that's how mechanical growth works exactly, but... Little Indiana Jones there. He does find a new holes to explore, doesn't he? The real Tama is far less scary than the new one. Okay, that's getting really worse. We're kind of reaching a different genre of anime now. Ugh. Yes, we attack it till it dies. Of course. <laughs> I doubt she can that easily. And destroy everything in its sight. Well, uh, let's try teleporting it somewhere else, you know. Maybe to some lord's mansion. Well, if there's ever, ever, ever... <laughs> If there's ever a time for Matoko to get her chi working again, that would be it, so. You have to come to terms with your ladylikeness, probably. Or your love for Keitaro. Or your love for Tama. Or your love for Shinobu. Not even that picky, just come to terms with it yourself. And take them off. It's that easy of a solution. And it's getting bigger. Probably, probably should stop feeding it. Use something non-mechanical to fight it. Or just, you know, unplug it. <laughs> that works too. Okay, I was about to say. It should have an uninterruptible un 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 power supply. Or UPS for short. Just to be safe. Take them off. It's that simple of a solution if you think that's a problem. I mean, you always kind of wore women's clothing, just more subtle. And here we go. Keitaro, what are you doing? Let her reveal everything. This is important. And we were hoping to see it, but you won't let us. You better free the entire episode, Matoko. How dare you try to help her. And that's his next snack. Guess maybe we'll find out. Okay, she should have a chi back now that Keitaro gave his words of wisdom to her to help her out. No, you're actually relevant to the plot. Challenge accepted. That's the face he made.
Or in this case, Mecha Tama split in. What are those batteries? Either way, it's done for. <sighs> Everything we lost, it's finally returned to us. Good job, Matoko. Please don't. Need to keep her on a leash. But yeah, back to the usual clothes. Well, not the exact same clothes, but closer. What she sent her, I believe. Yeah, Tama would never do anything bad. Tama's a good girl. I mean, Sue did cause everything, so, you know. Oh, he's not, not done yet. Round two later? So, that was the 12th episode of Love Hina. And this episode, the focus was once again back on Matoko. She's been kind of having issues all episode, mostly because of her sister being on her mind and kind of worrying about all that whole thing, about her sister kind of abandoning the sword and then her having to take up, take up on that. And I can see my cat from the... Preview. Ugh. I'll just keep him in the shot. So, yeah, so pretty much because of all those concerns, she was having difficulty tapping into her chi because it's very much based on her mental state. I almost made me jump, but anyway, so yeah, to the point where she couldn't even defeat Kitaro or Tama with a sword. Speaking of Tama, she actually seems to be in love with Matoko. So, yeah, just continuing to expand on the girls. That we can ship Matoka with, with Shinobu being added last episode, and Tama being more this one. And Matoka was definitely getting getting in touch with her inner inner beauty, her inner inner feminine side, ladylikeness, because she got to try out various outfits, which were all pretty much Haruka's, which uh, a little bit surprising that she would have those outfits, but you know why not? So of course the main real conflict this episode was Mecha Tama, who decided to attack. Just got bigger and bigger, kept absorbing more and more machines, more mechanical stuff, and had to be taken down. Of course, this was somewhat of a good thing because it kind of inspired Matoko to get back on her feet. To do well, Kitaro helped her out with this, but to pretty much come to terms, to come to terms with everything involving involving her sister, and she summoned up her mighty chi and defeated Mekatama, and everyone lived happily ever after. It was great, and we got to see some Naruto jealousy here and there because. This was a Matoko focus episode, which meant that Kitaro also focused on Matoko, so not Naru. So, needless to say, Naru is not going to take that particularly well. But, yeah. I, again, I, did, I mentioned this during the reaction, but I still find it funny that Shinobu commented on Tama being a girl and liking Matoko and how that's weird, but nothing about them being different species that I do quite get a kick out of that. I would say Matoko looked very nice in both of the new outfits she wore this episode. Oh, well, I guess three, because she did wear that one kimono that her sister sent her. So, yeah, pretty... I think she looks better in those things than she gives her credit for. Oh yeah, I actually forgot. She did actually try a few various outfits before, didn't she? Like, the first one she didn't look very good in, at all. But aside from that, she pretty much looked at least decent in most of the things she tried on. And Matoko and Keitaro sort of went on a date together. So, obviously, you know, some progress made on that front. Probably about all I really had to say in this episode, aside from that, it was cool that we got to finally see Mekatama, because he was kind of shown off in the opening before, but we hadn't seen him yet. I mean, it was obvious that he was something that Tama, that Sue would create, but never actually got, at least I don't think we've seen Mekatama before. And we got to see Mekatama in the water near the end there, so I don't think we've seen the last of him. So either Tama survived somehow, or Sue made a new one, one of the two. She did say she was going to make a new, better one. Not that anyone really wanted her to do that because of the trouble the old one caused, but, you know, Sue's gonna do what Sue's gonna do, after all, so. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon, and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.